Hello everyone. This is the second episode of our Python video series. This episode is more about Python file handling and data persistence. Let's have a closer look into the task list. So, creation of new files, various file extensions, txt, csv, so on, and persist data arrays into data files. And someone may need to append data to an existing data file. And finally, delete existing files or a folder. So, for today's episode, I will be use the OS package to complete the fourth task. Other than that, I will be using only the inbuilt Python methods. Okay, let's start the coding part. For first, I will create the script file. So, I will give the file name as file writer python so in our task list our first task is to create various type of files so i will try to create one txt file and one csv file so file creation we need to call the function open that open function is an inbuilt python function so we can use that let's say uh, the file a my file a is equal open method open is called so then we need to give the first argument as the file name so i will give file a dot txt and let's see what is this open method is doing so this open method has file and the mode buffering encoding errors new line cross fd so these are the parameters so the first one is we is a must variable so all others have default arguments so uh, so we we may need to give the file name and the mode the, these are the basic two arguments we need to give so r means reading so if we not specify a uh, mode here so it is default to read if we run this file it will give a error so this means it, it gives the file not found error it, we, we create this file to read first so there should be a file so that's why it gives the error so if we need to create the file we need to give as write w so now if we run this one it will create the file a.txt so I will create a uh, folder here so I will give the folder name is out so I need to create this file inside this folder so we need to give the folder path out slash file a. let's see how what happens when this one running so it did nothing to here it creates another file inside the out folder so i will delete this one and i will create another file called file b so this file b i will give the file type as csv let's run so it creates the csv file format that is the various file format only we need to give the extension in the file name so this is how we can create a file so if we go back to again open file format you can see what are the different modes you have so these are the modes r means reading that is the default value and w means open for writing only so x means create a new file and open it for writing so if we use the x here let's say i i am using x here i will delete these two and try so delete okay. i will run it here so it creates the files so if there are no files or exist files w will create the file again create the file so 
let's see what happens with the x command the file b is now existing see it it gives an error so this error means the file exists the file b csv is already exists so this x means if it is if there is a file exists it will not create the new file so it will give a error but w means it will create a new file replacing the previous one okay so other ones so a means we need to open a file for appending so that means if the file is exits it will open it and append the file if there is not exist that file it will create the file and start writing so b means binary mode and this plus means we can write open write read both you can use as this one so you can use w plus as well okay so you can use a for appending so this is the various file open types you can use so as in the next two tasks let's see how to persist and append data to a file so let's say we need to write some string to the file a so we can use file dot write method so you can give the string whatever you need so i, I will give a just a name uh, john smith so you can check what will happen here so it ran so let's open this one so it has the name we given okay let's say if if run it again what will happen it will recreate this file and write this value so that means it is not appended in the file it is recreating then file and write just the john smith so let's say if you, if you need to append this file a with a another value so let's see now in inside this file it has john smith so i will change this mode to a and i will change this value to be h space h 35 okay i need to append with this one let's see what happened see the previous one it has john smith now it appends the value h 35 so that's how the file write and the file amendment happens so let's try to uh, write a bit complex one that means we need to write a array of data let's say we have some json array to write into a file so that is a bit complex task let's see how it can happen so i will make a array of data sample data so my array will include few data points so first data point i will say i have uh, name john and his age is 35 and he is a male similarly i have few other persons as well okay the second one i will say um, donald and he is 40 and he is a male so i have Anne here and she is 29 years old and she is female okay let's see how these three data points can be write into a into the file a in separate lines so for that we need to open a file first so so i will write another way of opening a file so that is uh, with with command in python we can use a with command so 
with open of my new file so i will give another file name same as uh, contact details this is my new file txt file type so i need to write access for that file so i need to give the file name as well so i will give the file name as uh, f so so now we have opened a file in the right purpose so we need to go through the data array and write those lines so we need to have a for loop to run through each line inside this data so here we are accessing the data array line by line so each line have three data so we need to merge these three data let's say we need to merge this with a space so and write into the file with a line ending so let's say uh, my file name is f so f dot write we can give the string here so we need to join these three values and add it here so there is a function called join so we can use the join function for this line so i i will be join using a space dot join and then give the line so this will give these three values with space separately okay and then at the end i will add the end line okay let's see what happens when this one runs okay it creates the contact details text let's open this one so as we expected it has three lines john 35 male donald 40 male and 29 female all are separated with the space so if we need to separate with the comma you can only put comma here let's see what happens see you can see it the previously it was space now it separated with the comma so like that you can have a uh, different data sets like json data set or any anything you can uh, write into a file or a persist into a file if let's say this john has the contact details let's say you he has some uh, phone number here so you can add it here so no need of these uh, all these data points to be in the same length let's see what happen but uh, if we run this one see so our expectation was in the first line there are four elements and other two three elements so same as that it right so you can use this data persistent method using python like this okay let's move to the final task delete in a file or delete in a folder so let's try to delete this uh, file a so for that we may need to import uh, the os package so this os package have delete deleting functions remove function so using that remove function os dot remove you can give the file path and then you can remove the file let's try removing of this file okay now it has the file let's see what happen okay here it says the process cannot access the file because it is used by another process this file is used by another process so because we open a file for amending but it never close here so before we remove that file we need to close this file so let's close that file first then we need to remove let's try again see now it has removed 
so the removing part is now okay so let's see uh, how we can remove this fold this out fold similarly file remove OS have another function called remove directory let's try what happens when this remove directory function calls I will give the path out for here let's try oh it gives an error what what is the error the directory is not empty so using rmdir function for removing a folder the folder should be empty so in this case there are two files inside the out folder so we cannot uh, remove using this rmdir function so i will create another directory here out one so i will try to remove that out one first using this command so it has removed successfully using this rmd command okay let's try to uh, remove the uh, non empty folder so uh, using os package we cannot uh, delete a non empty folder so we have another uh, package called uh, shuttle shuttle package so in this shuttle package you can have rm tree that means it's, it's like uh, rm minus rf that that kind of uh, command it, it will be run so so it it will be uh, iteratively delete the files then delete the folder so we can give the out folder here within inverted commas so now let's see what happened oh so it give another error we need to close this file b let's see what happens now see now it has removed all the out folder here so this is our the final task so closing the file and removing a file and deleting a folder so if you are deleting a empty folder better use this os one so if you are going to remove iteratively you need to use this shuttle uh, functions so this is all about today's episode we cover all those four tasks uh, file handling and data persistence through python so let's uh, meet with another python scripting episode till then goodbye